Hey guys, you see here a little bit of disassembled pin cartridge. Over here is a Noodler's Charlie that I need to put grease back on the threads and refill. So we're going to go ahead and move that over to the side. Right here is a modified Jinhao X750 with a G-nib. Move that over to the side, leaving us only with an Ackerman pump-filled pin. And I've talked about these for the channel before, but they haven't gotten uploaded yet. So I hope you guys will look forward to that video. But in the meantime, we have our disassembled Ackerman pin. We have the music nib and the drawing nib, as well as a selection of other drawing nibs. Now, the music nib and the drawing nib both seem to have like a copper plating on them and they are made of, let's see if I can get to focus, sturdier stuff than your average dip pin nib. But, let me see if I can find a free-floating fountain pen nib. There's one in a collar. And as you can see, it's tipped. Whereas, the drawing nib and the music nib are not tipped. And let me see if I can find... That spare Jin Hao nib, I promised you guys. It seems not, but I do have some art nibs from Noodlers, ordered a while back. So we can go ahead and take a look at those as well and they are size 6 nibs one of them is tipped one of them is not they're creeper nibs oh there's one more in there okay that's neat so we have three different types of art nibs we have a tipped Come on. A tip size six fountain pen nib for your noodlers pens or any size six pen you can fit it in. We have an untipped one and the tipped and untipped both have breather holes. And then we have the creeper nib which does not have a breather hole. So those are some fairly standard fountain pen nibs, a little bit sturdier than your dip pen nib. This is a Jin Hao tipped size 6 nib, same size as, oh come on, same size as those Noodlers nibs. So these are dip pen nibs. These are intended to go in a dip pen, and this is a Tachikawa dip pen holder. It's got a plastic ring in it designed to hold two types of nibs and a little rubber grip and this is just a regular G nib slides right in that's what these are designed to do now the pump pin is designed to work with other types of nibs beyond fountain pins and um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab those noodlers nibs because we're gonna try we're just gonna do a dry run we're not gonna ink anything up but we're going to try several types of nibs in our Ackerman pump pin. And Ackerman also makes um, fountain pins, but I only have two of the pump pins. So you see, this is what the pump pin looks like with the collar in. If I can get it to focus, this tiny hole is where your ink comes from. And it has little notches on it to sort of help make sure that the ink gets distributed. So if you over pump, it can spurt ink out of your pen. So when you're putting the Ackerman nibs in, you need to line them up. Man, it takes a little doing because it's a friction fit, so it's a pretty sturdy fit. But let's see, that's the music nib. As you can see, it has three tines and two breather holes. And that's how it fits on the Ackerman. There's actually a 
come on, fair amount of space between the feed and the nib, but it pumps that ink out, so that's not really an issue. So next we're going to try one of these size six fountain pen nibs, and it might not work. We're here today to learn. In fact, it looks like it won't work because the flange on the fountain pen nib is too large. Perhaps a regular noodler's flex nib might work, but we're looking for nibs that seem to have like a long base or narrow shoulders. Shoulders being these two points. Seriously, anytime I pick up a nib, it decides not to focus. Any day. These two points on the sides are the shoulders. So next we're gonna try, we're gonna try just a regular drawing nib. It's a Hunt Imperial. So I'm gonna line it up. And the Hunt Imperial is made of thinner material. So I have a feeling you can probably adjust your nib to fit wherever you want it to. Um, sort of like the noodler's pen, some of the noodler's pens, you can adjust your nib in the feed. This seems like it would be the optimal place. So it'll fit, I don't know if it'll work. We'll have to try that in another video. Now we've got a Browse Steno. And dip pen nibs are made of much thinner, more easily worn down material than fountain pen nibs. So... Get that steno in there as deep as possible. And it mm, might work. You'd really have to pump it though. And then finally, a Browse Rose. And you guys might remember that I ruined a rose um, in a Jin Hao mod. So it looks like the rose would fit, it, and it actually corroded onto my feed, so I can't remove it. Um, but it might not be such a problem with this one. Anyway, uh, so those three fit without any real issue. Um, the thing next to figure, figure out is whether or not it will work with ink in the pen. So um, quickly, I'm just going to replace the collar. So it stays in place because you don't want to lose that. So you fill this cartridge up with your ink. You can use an eyedropper. You pop it in to the back. You want to make sure it gets all the way in there. You use this to um, expel more ink. And you cover your cap, your ink cartridge. With that, it just twists on. The cap has an air hole. When you recap your pen, you want to make sure that air hole is open and screw it back in and then you close the air hole by twisting the metal um, clip to cover it so that the ink doesn't dry out and the last time I had this thing inked up I was using platinum carbon black ink which is a pigment based ink but I think I might put oh is there ink or water it's water uh, <laughs> I just cleaned this pen yesterday and it's still drying out um, I use, I want to try with Sailor Storia ink in either Lion or Dancer. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this little exploratory video with the Ackerman pump pin and a selection of other nibs. We now know that it will not necessarily work with size number 6 fountain pen nibs because the shoulders are too broad, but it may indeed work with some of your favorite dip pin nibs. And I know it works with a G nib because I own an Ackerman G nib. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys again really soon when we test these nibs and see if they'll actually draw. Bye guys.